<laughs> what a deck! Hello and welcome to What a Deck, where we play troll decks, rogue decks, and whatever the hell I feel like. I'm your host, Hardleg Joe, and today we're looking at pure metaphys. That's right, I'm actually looking at a meta deck. Ah ha ha, oh ho ho. <laughs> but uh, yeah, in all seriousness, this deck is not the greatest. Uh, it does have access to some pretty powerful plays. This card I've got up here, Metaphys Daedalus, when it's summoned, it can banish all special summoned monsters on the field. And if you have their field spell, your opponent can't activate anything in response to that. So there's no negating that effect. Which means it has the potential to make some pretty strong blowout plays, even against meta decks. Uh, the problem is, it's a little inconsistent, it's prone to bricking, and Metaphys by design are kind of slow. If you're unfamiliar with the archetype, their whole gimmick is that, like, they get banished, and then during the next standby phase, they do some effect. So you're playing everything one turn behind, but you do get to play a lot during your opponent's turn, which is something I love, whether it's Crystrons or Artifacts. Any deck that makes a ton of plays during the opponent's turn is awesome in my book. So that's what we're going to be doing here. We're looking at a mediocre deck with the potential for amazing plays, that makes use of some really interesting game mechanics. Now, if you just like a deck profile, there's a link in the description to a separate, shorter video. There, I'll go over everything in here, just explain how it works. Otherwise, in this video, I'm playing 10 duels against random opponents on YGO Pro. I'll be testing this out, showing you how it works, and hopefully, we'll have a little fun. <laughs> well, good morning, and welcome to the first duel. I'm going up against Ba. Which is actually kind of funny because I set my name to Meta Sheep. Haha, <laughs> get it? Cause, cause the Meta Fist. And, uh, he's Ba, which is the sound that sheep make for all our five year olds <laughs> in the audience. And, uh, like I said, this deck kind of prone to bricking. We've got a whole bunch of high level monsters. Fortunately, we have this trap. This will at least get our plays started next turn, assuming our opponent doesn't OTK us. Uh, they won the coin toss. They decided to go second. So it's very likely that they're playing some kind of OTK deck. Uh, Luna Light. No, ninjas. Interesting. Why would you want to go second with ninjas? That's a very strange decision. But, uh, you know, whatever he wants to do. Summoning that in defense mode. Yeah, if you're unfamiliar with ninjas, they're all about trap cards. So what you want to do is, like, summon a ninja, set down traps, and then you activate them during your opponent's turn. Unless, I don't know, maybe he's got something he can do. I don't think he can OTK me, but I've been surprised before. It's it's entirely possible that he's got some sort of weird Link build. He does have a lot of things down here. Nope, okay, looks like I'm, I'm taking like more than half my life points, but I am not dead yet. All right, and I'm taking even less because he decided to... Yeah, this seems like something you would want to do in main phase two after you attack for 2,500, then make the thing that has 2,000. But, you know, I'm not playing this deck. I played this in a DBC once. Uh-oh. 2, 4, 6, okay. Now I might be in a little bit of trouble. This thing can attack twice. Okay, so now I'm taking, like, more than three-fourths of my life. So I really need to hope that these traps aren't something that can completely devastate me. If not, we're gonna, I'm just going to activate this during the end phase. I could have activated it immediately. Um, but I wanted to see, like, you know, if he had a Twin Twisters or an MST, maybe he'd waste it on this. And then I could chain it. This thing is just discard a Metaphys card, draw a card, and then banish a Metaphys from your deck. As I said before, the Metaphys want to be banished, so you're, you're good in that case. Um, and then end phase. So what we're going to do, we're going to discard Daedalus, actually, draw a card, and then we're going to banish a Metaphys monster. And what we're going to banish is um, Neftis, because this is our searcher. During the next standby phase, after it was banished, it shuffles itself back into the deck, and then you get to add any Metaphys card from your deck to your hand. Now, normally what I would do is I would get uh, this card, which is going to let us dig deeper, 
but our opponent hit us with the anti-spell fragrance as soon as the turn started. So most of our spells and everything are going to be kind of useless. Um, so what we're going to do, we're actually going to go for our trap. Our trap can be be pretty nice. We're going to do this. Um, and I think, okay, so what we're going to do, hopefully this will work. Aloof Lupine. When this is summoned, you can banish a monster in your hand. Uh, in this case, I'm actually going to go for, uh, yeah, Daedalus. And then you can banish a monster from your deck of the same type. And we're going to go for... Um... Hmm. Yeah, we're going to go for Neftis, again, for more search power. This deck can really get a ton of searches off if you've got a couple turns to, to, to survive. Oh, fuck. I completely... I should have banished this. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, but that's fine. And then Aloof Lupine doesn't do much on his own. But that's fine, because we've got this trap, and I'm going to activate this trap as soon as the draw phase starts. Because then during the standby phase, what's going to happen is... Whoop, this thing will shuffle. Yeah, I completely... Ah, uh, I can't... Oh, I couldn't have activated that. Okay, we're fine. Yeah, I, I kind of fucked this up. I really should have banished this. Can't believe I'm making such amateur plays. Um, Let's see... What do I want to banish again? Um Yeah, I think I think I'm going to go for this now just in case I survive this turn. But yeah, when a metaphys is banished, you can banish one card your opponent controls. I guess I can't target this one, but I can banish this. There we go. And then this is going to let me search and I'm going to get my other uh level 4 summoned so I can summon something next turn. And then we're we're pretty we're pretty much doomed, I think. Oh no, actually, okay, we we've got this. I messed up a little bit, but I'm still fine. Assuming he special summons a monster. Which I think he's about to. Yeah, because he doesn't have enough to finish me off without special summoning. Okay, so he tributes that. Dark Samorg, alright. So when your opponent special summons a monster, you can special summon a banished metaphys. So I'm going to go for Decoy Dragon. Which again is what I, I should have got I should have banished this with a loof lupine, and for whatever reason it slipped my mind. But this guy, if your opponent attacks any monster you control, you can special summon a metaphys that is banished or in the graveyard. Um does it negate the attack? No, it just, it just like, when it's targeted, you can banish this card and then special summon a Metaphys. In addition to the, the, the effects that the Metaphys get when they're banished, a lot of them have effects when they're summoned by the effect of a Metaphys. So when he attacks, we're just going to decoy Dragon, and he's going to summon Daedalus. Daedalus, when he's special summoned by a Metaphys, banishes all special summoned monsters on the field. As I said, so, he just turned what could have been a really powerful, possibly even the, the end of the game, now all his stuff is banished. And he's not liking that. No one likes that at all. And then Decoy Dragon, if it's banished during the next during the next standby phase, it special summons itself. Which again, why I should have done that. Fortunately, it worked out with Dimension and everything. Ragnarok, or only level 4. Banished 3 from the top of your deck. If it's a Metaphys, it gains attack, and because a Metaphys was banished, we get to banish. Then we attack. 1700. 2600. And now the best thing about Ragnarok, and the reason we play Honest, if he deals battle damage, you can special summon a Metaphys from your deck. So let's just summon Tyrant Dragon during the standby phase. And wham bam, 2900! So an actually, an actual pretty good duel against ninjas. He almost got us down to like the bottom of the, the life points. And even though I messed up a little bit, we managed to come back. Probably one of the better duels you're gonna see here, cause it showed off like what this does. Pretty much all the best parts of this deck. 
Let's just hope maybe we can get some of these plays off against more competent decks, and I'll stop messing up. <laughs> Alright, here we are, a second duel brought to you by Patreon sponsor Stormfox, who wanted me to use his shout-out uh, to, to, to shout out his uh, Discord channel, which he calls the Hard Leg Shed. It's kind of... Oh, pardon me, big burp there. It's kind of an offshoot of my, my Patreon Discord. Uh, I, I don't really like to have a whole lot of events. He was pinging people for, for like, Smash tournaments and stuff. And I was like, I don't want to get all these pings. So he made his own little server. Most of the people who are on my, my Discord server are there. Uh, unlike my Discord server, you don't have to be a patron to be on there. So the link's up on the screen. It should be down in the description as well, unless I forgot. Maybe uh, just remind me in the comments and I'll put it up there. But yeah, go ahead and join that. You could talk to other hard leg people and just tell him thanks when you arrive. Like, hey, thanks for giving that $50 at one time. That was pretty cool. Uh, we're going up against NG Starfat. Interesting. Not gonna Starfat. And it looks like we're playing Pendulum Magicians of some kind. Oh no, this guy's actually playing spell books with his with his other stuff. Um, let's see. When an opponent activates a monster effect. Now this can be a problem. Uh that's one of the, the things about this deck that makes it terrible. You want to go second, but at the same time, you uh you you really don't uh whatchamacallit? You really don't have very many you don't have much recourse to deal with like negations. We play like a Dark Hole and a Raigeki to try to bait them out, but other than that, you're kind of screwed. So we got Ace of Metaphys, Banish a Metaphys, draw a card, and then if you do that during your turn, all your opponent's monsters, they lose 500. Hey, I, I'm, I'm all about that. Um, and then that'll be good for next turn. Let's go ahead and activate Pot of Duality, because oftentimes we don't special summon during our turn. Um, hmm. A difficult choice to make. No, not really, actually. We'll get another Ace of Metaphys. Not once per turn. So we can activate that again. Um, we're going to banish our Searcher, which will lower their attack again, uh, which means Aloof Lupine now has enough attack to get over this. Normally, you'd want to, like, I play this normal monster just because it's another Metaphys. Normally, I'd want to uh, banish it with Aloof Lupine and then banish something from my deck. But if I activate an effect, he's going to negate it. So instead, we're just going to attack over this and get rid of it. There you go. And then we've got this. So during this turn, we can activate Metaphys Dimension. During his standby phase, he's going to do stuff. During my standby phase, we're going to go ahead, use Daedalus... Banish another Neftis so we can get that search next turn again. Search in every turn, baby. Oh yeah, if this if this is if a Metaphys is banished during your opponent's turn, it changes the battle position of all monsters. And then this banishes something. And because this has less attack, um oh target one card. I'm actually gonna disrupt his scales and get rid of this so we can't get it again. Yeah, it just moves them back and forth. And then we're going to search out Ragnarok. So that we have a normal summon for next turn. And then during our standby phase, when this activates, we'll get our field spell. The field spell, in addition to letting you normal summon high-level uh, Metaphys monsters from your hand, it makes it so your opponent can't chain anything. Yeah, he's. I gotta get rid of that. I mean, I could search another one next turn. I said, if you can survive a turn or two and get everything going, this deck can get pretty brutal because you just chain search everything. Okay. And he's not going to have any spells. Let's see. Um, two spell counters. Aloof Lupine, when it's sent to the graveyard, you can get a banished monster, add it to your hand. We don't want to do that because we want to be able to search. Every once in a while, that's good. If you, like, mill and happen to banish a Ragnarok, you can get it back to your hand. Oh, hey. Mr. Crowley! Reveal three spellbooks. Your opponent randomly picks one. Add to the... Uh, 
add to your hand, shuffle the rest into the deck. All right. Just got to hope it wasn't the good one. He probably said it either way. Oh no, he does have it. Well, at least I know he has it now. He's got it, baby. Oh no, he discarded it? Well, I guess he could have more than one. Or did that get added somewhere else? I don't know. I think he's got a spell book of judgment. Or not judgment. Whatever that, that good one is. Shuffle that back. And... Yeah, I'm not worried about him negating my stuff at the moment. So I'm actually just going to add... Let me think about... Yeah, we're just going to add another trap. Going to be trap time. Again, get rid of this Metaphys Arm Dragon. Lower him by a thousand. Going through my deck even more. That'll be nice, I suppose. Um, we're going to try this. Banish three. Could be good, could be bad. Oh. 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 Well, I did not, I did not expect that. Not gonna lie, I thought that was the spell book. I didn't think he would play. Who plays Solemn Strike in this day and age? Um, yeah, that puts us in a little spot of bother. Maybe I should have Raigekied, and then I, he would have had only one spot. Um, we're good though. I'm just gonna activate that. Yeah, because I have these two banished. So if he special summons, I get to special summon a 2800 beater from the the banish zone. There isn't actually, it's not technically called the banish zone, which they really probably should just name it the banish zone because that would make it a lot, lot easier. There's so many cards that are like, special summon a card from your graveyard or one that is banished. They can't refer to one in the zone because the zone doesn't have a name. They just have to say one that is banished. Reminds me of, I forget, I think it's like Mana Dragon or something. It's like, if that card is in your graveyard, or it is banished, then do this. Yo, what's up? How's it going? Well, fuck, I might have lost. No, he went for that and not for Armed Dragon. Which means he's going to use some sort of monster to get over it. Because that's only once per turn. So I might survive after all to use my Rygek. I would indeed like to use my Rygek. Oh, no. Fucking unicorns! Back into the deck. Welp, a sad state of affairs. I should have gone... If I had gone for that field spell like I was going to originally, I would have been good. But I didn't think he played counter traps in this spell tr spell uh, caster book. That's why I go for underestimating things. I was sure that that was that spell book that was going to banish me. In which case I would have been able... If See, if, if he had banished the... Uh, What's it called? I should be able to bring it up. No, that's his. It's, um... Oh, is it no longer in his graveyard? One second. I don't know. Yeah, they have that spell book that's like banish three and then banish a card your opponent controls. If he had banished the Ragnarok instead of sending it to the graveyard, then when he did some sort of, like, pendulum summon, I would have summoned it off of this. Uh, then I would have milled three... It would have banished something, and if he attacked into it, then I could have honested him and then used Daedalus during the, the battle phase. So a lot of cool things could have happened, but I underestimated my opponent. I underestimated counter traps. Can you blame me? If you so, if so, blame me down in the comments. Uh, let's go on to the next duel. <laughs> All right, here we are. Third duel versus Lost Eve, the corporate public liar. Comment in the comments with what you think CPL stands for. It could be all sorts of things. It could even cook an egg, perhaps. Hmm? Ah?
Eh? It looks like we're going against my dolce. Ah, you make your mama proud with the sweet the cake. Which a lot of people have wanted me to do again, and now that they've got new support, I am I am open to trying them. So we'll see. Maybe maybe in the next couple months or so. I don't know. It's it's they're definitely workable now. Before I always refused to do Madolce because it was always like, do a brilliant fusion combo and end on Tiramisu and hope that's enough. But now they have a card that's like decent going first, and they have a Link monster. So they they can, and they have this thing which which gives them a whole lot of different things that they can do. The problem is like, or not a problem, but it's like so yeah, I, I'm willing to do them, but they're still not like the most interesting thing to me. So it would have to be like a time like if I can go two weeks without finding another deck to play, then yeah, I'll look at these. But there's a whole bunch of stuff I want to do. I have more stuff to do than than not do. Especially now we got dual power, so like Heretic's got their link, aromage has got a link. We finally got that Red Dragon, so I could try Red Dragon Synchro. Uh, the Shadals and Necros are off the list. Rockets finally have a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, there's their new card, the Teacher. Let's see, quick effect, detach, target one Madolce. It is unaffected by other monsters' effects this turn. Hey, that's pretty cool. Um. But is it if it's affected by spell traps? Hey, <laughs> um, and what we're gonna do because of what we have in our hand, we're actually going to banish Tyrant Dragon. Unless he hits this with MST or something. Nope. It's just like that's unaffected. Okay. Um, oh, it has another effect. If a Madolce is sent to the graveyard, well, this is other. You shuffle two cards from the graveyard into the deck. Oh, okay. So they gets to send their Xyz material back. And, or, yeah, you get to add them to your hand. Pretty neat. But now I'm canceling that out. Um, yeah, and I think I want to do the cool thing. Hopefully, hopefully, this is not Solemn Strike this time, but we'll see. Also, hopefully, I mill some Metaphys. Okay. It's any Metaphys card, so even this counts. And good old Armed Dragon doing its work. So, we're going to attack this. I inflicted damage. He gets to add that back to his hand. I get to summon... Um... Yeah, let's just go for Daedalus. Hello. Enjoy banishment. And then attack over that with 2600. Oh, it's just any time it would be destroyed, you could shuffle one back to your deck. Okay. Well, that's a little bothersome, but we're fine. We're fine. Um. Yeah, unaffected by other stuff. Yeah, I think we're good. If I make a link, he's just gonna shuffle it back with, like, Tierra Masu. Tyrant Dragon. Let's go for another one. Go away. Oh, and it banished this, too, because this was special summoned. Which means during the next standby phase, I could shuffle it back and do some stuff. Hopefully I'll survive. I don't think Madolches can OTK. Certainly they'll shuffle this these two back with, like, Tiramisu, but I, I don't think they, they should be able to OTK me. But we'll see! I've been surprised before. I don't know what they can do with all their new things. So, you know, we'll, we'll just fast forward through this. We'll be back when he's done making plays. <laughs> yep, just Tiramisu. Sending my monsters back from whence they came. Yep, I really need to... He has another one of these. I really... Oh, no. Okay, he's keeping that. Yeah, they're, they're another one. Once they get started... I really need to get my trap. If I can start banishing his stuff faster than he can... He can accrue things, then maybe I can do stuff. Maybe he'll attack it with one of these two. Maybe he won't read the numbers. Darn it. Yeah, I wish... It's times like this I wish I had honest... Sadly, I banished my one honest. 
Probably not the best choice for this deck, but it works pretty well. It, it's fun when it actually goes off. Especially since everything's, like, light. You can also do the old mind games, Honest with Honest, because I play three of them. Um, let's see. Alright. If a card on the field would be destroyed by battle or card effect. Oh, if this card, okay. So he could still save that with Dark Hole, but he can't save Tiaramasu. All right, Daedalus goes back. Banish. Hmm. Yeah, actually, I think I'm going to banish my trap, because the trap lets you search right now. As soon as you get the trap, you're good. Um, and we're going to go for Ace of Metaphys again. Just to try to get our plays going. And we're going to use that first. Just in case we happen to get into something neat. Nope. Um. Pot of Duality. Churn, churn, churn. Uh, definitely going to have to go with the, the one that lets me normal summon things. Um, let's see here. Yeah, and then I'm going to... Actually, this will work perfectly. So, banish that. And also banish... Uh, let me see. What's my... That's my grave... Oh, yeah, the graveyard. Banish zone. We'll have all those. Um... Yeah, let's banish one of those. And then let's just... Do that so he can't activate anything in response. And I could do 200 damage, but I don't want to let him recycle things, so we'll just end my turn. And then during the standby phase... So... First, this thing shuffles back. Add anything to our hand, we're going to add Daedalus. And then Tyrant Dragon, since it was banished last turn... We could special summon a Metaphys from our hand. And then all special summoned monsters get banished. Bye. And then Decoy Dragon comes out, so if he tries to attack me again, I have a little protection. So I believe that two of his Sistarts are banished. One is in the graveyard, granted. It's, it's Medolce's. He probably has a way to shuffle it back. But if not, then he might not have access to that anymore. So that protection and the recursion that it brings with it is going to be a little bit of a problem. And he can't get rid of everything I have. Um, what do I still have banished? I think it's just the normal monster. Yeah. No, I have Ragnarok in the graveyard. Which can move everything to defense mode if Ace of Metaphys triggers. Probably what I'm going to go for. We'll see. It depends what he does. Does he have other Link monsters? Does he have another Tiramisu? Will he go for something? Yeah, he's just going for another Tiramisu. What's he going to go for? Will he not know what Decoy Dragon does? Oh, and then he puts that back, and then he does a thing. And then makes another Tiramisu? That would really soil my trousers, I tell you what. Aw, oh, yep. He's going for the stuff. He knows. I don't think he has enough to OT care to kill me, though. So let's see what else he does. Well, well, now he does, I think. Maybe? Hard to say. A la mode. A la mode. Um, shuffle. This has so much. You can also shuffle. You can get this. This card has pudding cysts. You can. Yeah, I think I'm dead, unfortunately. 
that's going to be 400 plus 300, 27, 37. No, I should have 300 left if I've got this correct. Um, what's banished again? Uh, yes. I'll add Honest back. That might be useful. I'll have 200, 200 left, unless he can, like, fairy tale snow me or something, and I didn't know. Somehow that got unbanned and it just slid under the radar. I still have a chance. Question is, is he going to make the link again? If he doesn't, then I've got the dark hole. Though I think this is, like, unaffected by stuff because he summoned it. I don't know. Dark hole. Everything explode. And then everything shuffles back into the deck. By which, I mean, it goes back to his hand. So yeah, they can loop for days. The pro the thing is, he he's only got so many. He's only got so many tiramisu's and alamodes and all those things. So I'm wondering what he can build with only the nine cards left. I can just normal summon this because I have Metaphys Factor. So hey, twenty nine hundred. That's cool. For a second, I was like, if I get hit with goddamn Storming Mirror Force, I'm going to be sad. Tragodia with, like, so much attack because his hand is so huge? That would be, I wouldn't even be mad. I'm not mad now. I, I really don't mind losing as long as it feels like I have a chance. It's those decks where it's like you just start with your opponent just like Christie as you, and you're like, oh, well, I guess I'll just be sad for all eternity now. Um, let's see here. So Graveyard, he's got one. Banished, he's got one. The real question is, does he just play fucking three Tiramisu's? If he has a third Tiramisu, then I'm just dead. Hopefully he plays some Lynx or something. Maybe he plays a Boral Load. Would Boral Load? Would I be able to do Honest on Boral Load? I don't think so. Boral Sword? That would be cool. I might be able to do a whole bunch of damage to him. We will see. Oh, okay. It's going to attack. Um, okay. And then... I figured he would attack this into it, and then to stop it from being destroyed, he would summon back, uh, or he would set back his, uh, whatchamacallit, his Tiramisu, because he, he could shuffle Madolce's back. Oh yeah, that gets banished during my opponent's end phase. Too many cards. Thank you, Ragnarok. Thank you, based god. Um... Sure, why not? We'll summon this with a card effect. Because he can't react to that, and he can't react to this. Um, let's see. 2100, so we could just barely get over Hootcake. Oh, well now I've got to... But I'm negated. Sadness. Fucking infinite transient saved him again. Um, what did I banish? Anything useful? Yeah. Hell yeah. All right. So we've still got... I was like, well, that's it for us, folks. I mean, it still may be it for us, but... Shuffle back. Give me a Daedalus. Oh, hey, is that a Tyrant Dragon that's been banished? 
Yes, it is. No more links for you. Every single one of them is gone. And that was banished, so it's off the field, which means if he wants to get over me, he has to get something with 2,800 attack, at least. The grind games. It's like the mind games, but with fundamental differences. This is like some sort of knockdown, down drag-out anime duel. Kaiju! That fiend. Does he have another one in his hand? Does he have does he have the the big the big one? Is this a sit? Is he just going to attack over with 3300? I'm shaking in my boots. No. What can he make? Can he make something that can get Okay, now he just needs to get something with 2400 attack. Can he do that thing? Yeah, imagine how much better this deck would be if I used stuff like Infinite and Permanence. I'm not really playing any, like, generic effect negation or, like, spell trap removal. Everything here is is just pure Metaphys stuff. I'm even not playing... I, I uh, what was it? You can easily play, uh... Ah, oh, what is it called? Like, Macro Cosmos and Dimensional Fissure in this deck. Both of those are, like, really great. Um... What you doing? Doesn't that kill you? No? Almost? Oh! Mewful for game! Well, touche, good sir. Touche. A good battle. A good battle. I am, I am happy to lose that. Down to 300 life points. Very clever. That was one for the ages. Uh, but yeah, I was just saying, you, you you can play, like, Staple Floodgates, like Macro Cosmos, like Dimensional Fissure in here. I was playing them originally, but I decided not to, just because it's kind of boring when, like, you go first, and then you play, like, Dimensional Fissure, and then your opponent's like, I'm playing Zombies, and I didn't open with Twin Twisters, so I quit. I really wanted this deck to, to show off what the Metaphys could do, so it's pretty much limited to just Metaphys stuff. So you could definitely make this deck a lot more powerful than it is if you tech in more generic support. I'm just not doing it because it's more interesting to to have Metaphys stuff. And in this show, you know, it's it's not about winning. It's about being interesting. And boy, was that was that duel interesting, at least in my opinion. You can let me know down below as we go into the fourth duel. <laughs> Alrighty, here we are, fourth duel, brought to you by Patreon sponsor, Wind Shadow 64 the windiest shadow to ever shadow his winds across the winds. We're going second, we're going up against a 40... 52 card deck? <gasps> Interesting choice, 11 cards in the extra deck. Is he playing mind games? It's possible he's playing mind games. And we got our one of Gold Sark, very useful in this deck. Mostly because you could just, like, Gold Sark, and then banish your trap, Metaphys Ascension, and then that lets you search, like, immediately. And I'm gonna go for this. Because this will let us do double the things that I want to do. We'll just ace a Metaphys. We're going to banish our searcher. Draw, okay, we've got a loof lupine. Oh, werewolf of London. Um, not a hard once per turn, although no, okay. I'm going to have this, so I could summon... Yeah, what we're going to do, we're going to, we're going to banish this, and then that'll give us some options. When Daedalus is banished, it lets you, during the next standby phase, you banish another Metaphys from your deck. So that could, like, I could put a Metaph- I could banish- well, here, you'll see in a second. Standby phase. Okay, so first of all, Decoy Dragon. Eh, protect me. Second of all, this thing. Give me search. Let me get my trap. I like my trap. Oh, I should have gotten a level 4 lower, or the field spell. I'm not thinking clearly. 
Um, it's fine. And then Daedalus, we're going to banish, and he's going to get, um, I can't get another Daedalus. I'm going to go for Tyrant Dragon. And that'll move him to defense mode, because he's not a Metaphys, and it's my opponent's turn. And that's what this does. So yeah, um, if he attacks, then Decoy Dragon can summon Tyrant Dragon, and I have a 2900 beater who can stand in the way. If he doesn't attack, then this will shuffle back, and I can get out Daedalus or another Tyrant Dragon during my standby phase. And then I'll have a big monster, either a big beat stick to get over him, or something to banish his entire field. Hopefully he doesn't, like, set five. You can Neftis, our searcher, if it's summoned by the effect of a Metaphys card, it banishes all set spell traps. Which is awesome when you go up against, like, Altergeist or something, and it's like, goodbye. But normally the least useful, but that's fine because it's the searcher. It's the one you want to, you want to do 90% of the time anyway. And then we've got our trap, so unless he blows up the... If he blows up this and then, like, sends this back to the deck, we might be in for some trouble. Gem Knights. Does he have the F... Is he going for FTK? Am I going to get burned for a whole lot? I might get burned for a whole lot. No, he's like some kind of Earth deck. Interesting. Well, that'll get rid of this. That'll be sad. Um. Yep, let's just get our Tyrant Dragon. Right in front. So yeah, if he wants to destroy this, he can. If he just wants to get rid of a loop Lupine. Um. Yeah, actually. Let's go ahead and just add this back. Because then I have another target for Ace of Metaphys. That'll, that'll be good. Because I don't really need that on my turn. It's not really doing anything. And there you go. All right. So. Banish. Draw. Um, Ragnarok. Hello. Hey, I banished my Ascension. Let's get my field spell. Field spell... Seems bad, almost, because it doesn't do anything on your own, but it unbricks your hand and it stops your opponent from, like, negating your shit. Which is awesome. So, I'll do this. We'll deal some damage. That'll allow us to get out Daedalus. Who will banish this. And that way he won't destroy all our spell traps, which is what I don't want him to do. Even though we maybe could have won... Perhaps? I don't know. We're good, though. That's fine. We're fine. Everything's fine. This is coming out. And then we're actually not going to add Tyrant Dragons, because we want to be able to use Decoy Dragon. And none of these in our hand is really, like, a great... We could, we could use either one of them for Aloof Lupine. We could use the other one for Ace of Metaphys. And then, of course, also, if he attacks this, this banishes itself. So I can activate Metaphys Dimension. And then, like, this will banish itself. And then because of Metaphys was banished, I can banish one of his. Once you get, like, all the spell traps set up and, like, a chain of banishing things, this deck becomes really, really hard to deal with. It's just a matter of getting that momentum in the first place. If you brick first turn, or your opponent puts, like, two negates on the field, or... Um, you just don't get the right stuff. Oh, he's got rituals. In that ass thing. Prediction Princess. Well, if he flips this face down, I can't activate its effect, actually. Because it has to be, like, targeted for an attack while face up, so... If he's figured that out, I might be in a good position. We will see. Ooh, Pot of the Forbiddens. See if he attacks first. Is he gonna flip this? It's what he should flip. That would be the smart maneuver. 
If he flips anything else, I think I've got game. Clever. Clever boy. He's a clever, spooky man. Oh, uh, yeah, we're good. See, this was... Okay. I'm going to activate this. Because during the end phase, he's going to get his... Um, Pot of the Forbiddens out. And then I'm not going to do that. And then I believe this is banished. Yep. Ho ho. I'm a tricky trickster. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, the monster that this summons when it deals damage during your opponent's next end phase, it's banished. So I activated this. This was banished at the end phase, which means I got rid of his pot of forbiddens. Which means he wasn't going to be able to do whatever horrible things he was planning to do for me. So we do get another win. Hey, that's pretty nice. As we go into the fifth duel. <laughs> fifth duel. I am no fool. I'm playing Metaphys because I've got the tool. And we're ironically going up against player four. Why weren't you here last duel, player four? You're in the wrong number. Will it bring him luck or will it bring him... Disaster. Ooh, Sky Striker. Brandish Maidens. All the card text is off. I believe there used to be an HD card project where people were getting the art and putting it in here. I remember I used it. That's why I like pictures of Honest. They're so cool. And like pictures of like Pot of Duality. But at some point I think they ended it because like the newer stuff, it's like kind of fuzzy, low quality, and it has the Japanese mock-up name. Interesting. Atlanteans. Not what I was expecting, but... Cool. Weird flex, but okay. Hooked Shinnin Sinker? What? This card, you can reveal it. Special summon it. Okay. Oh, it's just called Lapis Dragon. At least in America. All right. All right. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on, so we're just going to fast forward until I can do some stuff. Well, you, <laughs> you're playing Nightmares 2? Moon Glacia? Boo, are you just going to loop my hand? That's boring. You're a boring person and you should feel bad. I want interaction is the point of the game. If you're j if you're just gonna be sitting there making plays and you don't actually want to interact with anything I'm doing, just go play a jigsaw puzzle. Just go do some Sudoku. You will get the same sense of satisfaction from doing that without having to waste someone else's time. But I guess we'll see. Maybe maybe he's not just going to loop Moon Glacier. Maybe he'll just do it once and then put like three negates on board or something. I don't know. Either way, we'll be back. <laughs> well, he didn't summon Moon Glacier, but he's got a Boral Lord and and the uh, the Counter Trap. Well, you control an Orcust Link Monster. All right. Uh, Pot of Duality. Uh, that's cool. Aloof Lupine? It's the only normal summon I have. Even though it's dark, if this was light, it would be so much better. Ah, ooh. Werewolf of London. Yep, and that's a cost, so even if he, even if he doesn't negate, I get to do stuff. Alright. Yep, I've lost. I'm just gonna go ahead into the next duel. I said, I think I said that before. It's like if you just if if uh, if your opponent's gonna put up like two negates right from the start, you're not gonna you're not gonna have a good time. 
You can't do so many things. I believe he's going to be able to put on enough damage. He's playing like Atlantean Orchrist. An interesting thing, to be certain. So yeah, I'll be back if something happens. Otherwise, let's just go ahead to the halfway point. <laughs> well, cut my hair and call me Badoof. We're at a halfway thing. That's the point of the video where I just like to point out that, hey, I have a Patreon. This uh, this channel does have ads now, but it's funded like 90% through Patreon. It's what allows me to make videos that I think are cool instead of chasing trends and doing uh, top tens or whatever the hell the popular Yugi tubers do. So if you like this channel, if you like what I do here and you'd like to support it, uh, check out the Patreon. Even a donation of just $1 really helps out. Like $1 a month, you can get on my Discord. You can get all the cool sleeves that I've made for every video if you want to put those up there real quick, Joe. There's a whole bunch of rewards. So, you know, just want to let people know that. If you're interested, check it out. And if not, let's get back into the video. <laughs> all right, here we are jumping right back into it with the sixth duel. This one brought to you by Patreon sponsor Striker with a Q. He has perhaps the most... <laughs> striking name of all the patrons and uh we're going up against a spooky ghost will he know some spooky ghost tricks perhaps possibly and we've got a pretty cool hand oh hey pot of extravagance that's another card you can easily play it in this deck we very rarely go into the extra deck i really like having the ability to utopia the lightning and uh tornado dragon have won me quite a few games and Baguska can be super helpful. I think I play Baguska. I forget. Uh, either way, let's go ahead and start out Field Spell. Let's go ahead and start out Ace of Metaphys. We're just going to banish this. Ho ho! Doesn't do anything. Um, that'll make the trap live next time. Because this will banish a thing. Banish that thing. Hmm? Huh? Yeah? Huh? 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 Solemn Strike? This isn't a Metaphys effect. Um. Yeah, we're good. I'm good. Um. Set and your move. Draw phase. Activate trap. Standby phase. Activate Metaphys shenanigans. Daedalus goes away. Neftis comes back. And then this is going to be like, whatever that is, it's gone now. I hope you didn't need your eviling matched. Bada bingo, bada bango. Django Unchained. Now if he sets a whole bunch of other traps, if he's playing some kind of counter fairies, and then he attacks into this, I can summon this thing and banish all his set cards. Assuming he does it in main phase one, like some kind of Duel Links player. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, but he didn't summon a monster. That's fine. Yep, you can't negate my things. Let's get a Ragnarok. It's time to Ragnarok and roll. And draw more cards. I love drawing cards. Oh, I'm spooped. Spoofed? And then something was banished, so... I'm just gonna get rid of that. I don't like that. It's face up. Do you have an altergeist in your hand? Ah, he's got multi-fake. Probably should have banished that, but we're fine-ish. Oh, he's got low attack. Uh, do I want to use that effect? Oh, because he's special summoned. I can special summon decoy dragon. Um, yes, actually. Let's summon the decoy dragon. Shall we? Let's shall. Uh, 
then that gets that, and then that gets that. And then I can make Hyperstar. He's the star of the hype train. Um, normal summon this. Now he can activate that. He could send this back to the hand. No, he's not going to. Um, what do I want to add to my hand, though? Probably another one of these. Because I can do even more stuff. Let's lower your attack by even more. And we'll lower this as an attack, too. And I'll draw more cards, and I'll get more searches. I like more cards and more searches. That seems fine and dandy, like lemon candy. He's got something he can activate. He's awaiting. He's patiently waiting for a track to explode on. Yeah, that'll put him... Down to 200, which makes it so even Decoy Dragon can run over it. Oh, but he just popped it away. Yeah, and Ragnarok's probably the thing you want to get rid of, but then again, if it goes back to my hand, that means I can summon it again next time. Lowering your attack. Didn't really want another field spell. Um, let's see. Do I make Hyperstar and try to get rid of this? Or do I... I've got two decoy dragons. Um... Yeah, I think I'm just going to keep the two decoy dragons and hope he can't get rid of everything that I've got. Oh wait, yeah, especially I could do this. I forgot. And he can't chain anything in response to it. Yay me. Um, bada bingo. Unfortunately, these are mandatory, so I can't, like, chain block with this. That would be cool. And then Neftis is going to get me, um, I'm going to take the trap. That'll be useful. I can use it to trigger this. I can discard it with Metaphys Ascension and then get a draw and a search. There's lots of things you can do. I wonder if he plays more of a Silico- oh. Ooh, ouch. Do I want to activate? Yeah, I want to activate. Why wouldn't I want to activate? Banish that. Let's get a... This guy. Let's get a this guy. Who wants to be a millionaire? Mandatory effects. Can't be activating things. Um, let's just hope this isn't... Yep, alright. Time to get rid of that last pesky trap. No evenly matched for you. <laughs> Goddamn banished all my evenly matches. Why are you doing that? Stop it. Get some help. Um, yeah, fuck, I've got so much stuff, unless he's got another evenly matched. Do you got a third evenly matched? Uh, no, we're good. Ooh, he might be able to get to a third evenly matched. That would actually be really bad, I don't want to be banished face down. That's the worst way to get banished.
Activate this. Get rid of one of those. I am very surprised this guy has not given up yet. He is so boned. He is like the most boned. I've got so many cards on my side of the field. I can see why Metaphys are not uh, the best. There we go. Wow. <laughs> yeah, so that's the other thing that you can do with this. And I always bring up Daedalus as like the big power play you can make with this. But if you get to a thing where you can just keep searching and keep drawing, eventually you can end up with something like this, where it's just like, everything's lowered by a thousand. Every turn you're getting something banished. You can't activate anything. This guy's just summoning more monsters. And it just becomes too so overwhelming that, like, you're gonna need, like, two twin twisters to handle everything. A sad state of affairs for him, to be certain. Uh, let's go ahead into the seventh duel. The fight in seventh. <laughs> All right, seventh duel versus Crimson seventy eight. The fight in seventy eighth. Want to go second again with this deck? And you may be like, Joe, why do you want to go second? This deck is so slow. Um, one, there's not really any good first turn plays we can make. Uh, two, we really the the best blowout play in this deck is to banish everything with Daedalus. So you want to give them a chance to make a board and then have them do that. Uh, interesting use of gold sarcophagus. Do you have some way to recover that over after, or are you just hoping that in two turns you're gonna be you're gonna be set? I mean, it could work. Um, we got good. Anytime you start with rag, as long as you start with Ragnarok or aloof lupine or the field spell. Ooh, big dinosaurs. He's playing dino wrestlers. Uh, but yeah, that's what I was saying. You got the two level fours, Ragnarok and Aloof Lupine. Both of those can get your plays started because they can both banish two or three monsters. If you start with the field spell, then any high level monster you can just sort of summon. Your brick hands come when you get all the high level monsters and no field spell. Um, all right. I don't want to use this because Ragnarok, well, yeah. We're just going to Ragnarok. And hope that's not another Solemn Strike. Hey, 2400. Battle phase. Attack. I don't need it yet. And then because all he's got is face down cards, we're going to go for Neptus. Survival Instincts. Okay, so this guy is not playing good dinosaurs. <laughs> He's playing some sort of weird dinosaur variant that I don't understand. Uh, what did I banish? Oof, two of my traps. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit, but there's, that's some way that's some, ugh, sometimes it's just how the cookie crumbles. Um, yep, and we're good. Decoy dragon comes back. Hello. Is it me you're looking for? Yeah, if they got a whole bunch of monsters, then you want to go for the, the, uh, whatchamacallit? Uh, then you want to go for Daedalus. If they have a whole bunch of spell traps, you go for Neftis. Occasionally, you want to go for Tyrant Dragon, if they just got, like, one monster. Because Tyrant Dragon can be, like, uh, what was it? If it destroys a monster by battle, it can attack again, and it's unaffected by traps. All right. You realize you've helped me, right? I had nothing I could summon off of this. Now I have all sorts of things I can summon off of this. Twenty-one hundred. Search, yes, please. Give me one of these. I need to get my draws going. Now you in trouble. All sorts of trouble. Decoy Dragon, yes. This is why we only play two pot of duality, because if you get get the point where you're doing Ragnarok shenanigans, then it, it becomes not all that useful. 
but it's good to have something that helps you get your plays started in case you can't do Ragnarok shenanigans. Get those searches started. Do, 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 do. Nope, don't need it still. And so, like, in this case, I've got nothing to banish, so we're just gonna go for the highest attack monster we can. Just 29, 17, 300. They couldn't wrestle their way out of a different dimension. Funny that the fighting 7th was actual fighters. Anyway, let's go into the 8th duel. <laughs> Here we are in the 8th duel, brought to you by Patreon sponsor Ike of the Grail Mercenaries, who I've heard is from that Fire Emblem series. I've never played them, but I've heard many great things about that. And uh, we're going up against your mom. I'm sure she's a lovely lady. I had no idea that she played Yu-Gi-Oh! Apparently Sky Strikers are what got her into this. I could see how a housewife, maybe they could want to romanticize about when they were young and still had hook shots. Oh, this is Crusadia's. Oh, your mom is a terrible woman. Oh, she smells of flapjacks. And not the good kind of flapjacks, like the Waffle House flapjacks that smell faintly of shame. It's, it's one of those. That, that's what's happening here. I'm going to get Mech Knight Crusadia astrumed. I'm going to, uh, bad things are going to happen to me. And I'm going to blame it all on your dear sweet mother. So, look forward to that. For now, we'll, we'll be back when he's done doing combos. <laughs> Alright, it is exactly as I imagined. He has made Mech Knight Crusadia Astrum. There may not be many things that I can do. It. Well, actually, I do have the one out to this. I have non-targeting banishment, so I might be able to do it, but I don't have any of the abilities right now to do that. So, we will have to see. Um... do this. Alright, hey, Metaphys Ascension, I like that. Um... Hmm... I think I just want to take... Yeah, I just want to start building up... Well, let me see real quick, what do I got banished? Just one of those? Okay, so I have no way to trigger this at the moment. So actually, yeah, what I want to do, we're just gonna get we're just gonna get the attack lower. We're gonna add another one of these. And we're gonna get more search power. All the searches in the world, Harry. Two thousand. Now I can beat over him. So I'm going to attack him. Um, he's gonna... Oh. Interesting. I thought he would have activated his thing. But that's fine. We could summon this. And the damage step. This will banish him. Goodbye. And I guess he misses timing or something? Oh no, if it's sent to the graveyard by the opponent's card. Okay. Everything worked out better than expected. Um, what do we got here? We've got two of those banished, so decoy dragons. Not gonna be great. But you know what? We're gonna activate it anyway. This is a pendulum monster for a reason. It has basically the same effect in the pendulum zone that it has on the field, so I can get a banished guy or a guy in my graveyard and add it back. So we're going to use two of these. One's going to get the trap. One is going to get us another Ragnarok. Um, so we have another normal summon play next time in case he completely devastates our field. Uh, hopefully YouTube doesn't claim Vangabus because I've sung that tiny bit of a song. I've heard that's a problem. I've yet to have that happen so far. Probably because my covers are so terrible. So, alright. That turned out better. I thought he was going to activate... If you're unfamiliar with Astrum, when, it, when it's attacked, it can increase its attack by... Oh, your mom surrendered. Well, I can't say I didn't expect it, but... 
still quite strange. But yeah, uh, so Astrum, if he's attacked, he can basically honest himself. He can gain attack equal to the opponent's attack. So normally, no matter what, you can't destroy him by battle. But I thought he would activate that, and then I would chain honest. And then I'd be able to get over him. But I didn't have to, so now I had it saved. No idea why he didn't activate that. Maybe he thought something else was going to happen. Maybe he just wanted to recover things. Maybe he didn't realize he was going to get Daedalist. Uh, but either way, we defeated your mom. So let's go ahead into the ninth duel. <laughs> He's in the beast and the doos and the Jaeger. Da 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 if he's not, if he's not German, you, you never, you never want to assume someone's Germanity. Um, we've got, we've got a decent hand. Uh, we can do Lone Wolf into Decoy Dragon, so we'll have something, and then we can banish something as well, and that'll still let us use Pot of Duality. If he leaves something on the field that I can Ragnarok like that, I can definitely Ragnarok. Um, which I think I want to do. I think that's one of those things that I'm going to want to do. Hey. That's pretty neat. I'm a big fan of that. And then we'll just get out. You know, it's a hundred less, but at least I'll get it out of my deck. Big normal monster. Full of beef and rage. Look at him. Look at all those muscles. He eats his chunky soup daily, gentlemen. Daily. My Raigeki is banished. Oh, but hey, I also got the best thing to banish. The one that lets me search everything. Suprex. Let's just hope he doesn't completely devastate our colon. Um... Yep, I don't play any level 11 synchros. This is a tuner, by the way. You can make some pretty cool stuff. The extra deck has some things. This guy has gotten me out of a lot of jams. Not in this episode. In this episode, I don't think we've ever used the extra deck. Um, do I want to... No, I've got Honest. If I have to worry about extra... If I have to worry about attack shenanigans, I think I'm going to be good. Plus, I'm not going to have anything. Um, let's get this, because we've already got a loof Lupine, so that'll help set us up. Yeah, so next turn, and yeah, it's just like I can Pot of Duality, I can use this, hopefully I'll get another Metaphys that I can use with Ace of Metaphys, or maybe the Trap, because then I can draw and search. If it even comes to that, there's a chance, if, if we're lucky, he'll build a huge board with no negations, and then attack into Ragnarok. And then I'll get to do and I'll get to do the cool thing, the reason why honest, because no one expects honest in 2019. There's a reason it came back to three, because it wasn't really getting played, even though it can win you all the battles. It's one of those it's one of those actual mind games kind of things. Where it's like removal is so good that if you have if they think you have honest, they can just remove it before without really having to worry about it. But then, and no, so no one plays Honest, and then you play Honest, and people don't, they like, they're not going to try to remove Ragnarok with a card effect, because they don't think it's a threat. They think they can just run over it by battle and it'll be fine. Or same thing with this thing, they're not going to waste any, they're not going to waste any removal on a 2800 normal monster, and they wouldn't expect the Honest, so then when they get hit by it, it can be the... Of course, the the big thing is, this works in a singles, not so much in a match. Once you're in a match, they, they'll, they'll be playing around the honest. But you can always take it out, or you could just assume they'll have nothing to do with it. I mean, nothing to do about it. I'm not sure if you can activate Called by the Grave during the damage step, but you could just attack with Ragnarok, use Honest, summon Daedalus, especially if you have the field spell, then, like, they can't chain to that effect. It's just bad things happening all day, every day. Master Ogre! Um, let's see. You can turn to the NA number of Goki monsters you control this card points to. Target the same number face up. Have their effects negated. This card can, I, can attack all monsters your opponent controls once each. If this, okay. So he's got that. Is he going to be able to make more things? 
You son of a bee sting. Very interesting. Yeah, his activates after the fact. Moon Mirror Shield. Touche, salesman, touche. I don't have any immediate way to deal with that. You've made the honest in my hand useless. <laughs> it's weird talking. Uh, I always worry with the mind games, because if, if you're unfamiliar with last, last week, those were staged. I make no attempt to hide it. I feel it's fairly obvious, but I still get comments from people who are like, I can't believe how great this is. And then like 10 minutes later, a comment like, what? This is fake? Where they're like, they're clearly deceived by it somehow. But I always worry then that people will think the other episodes are fake, especially when stuff like this happens where I'm like building up how great Honest is. And then someone has the gall to run Moon Mirror Shield in the year of our Lord, 2019, in Gokies of all things. It's like, well, you you just happen to have the perfect counter. This would have been a much less interesting match if this didn't come out. I think, I, I, I'm still pretty sure if he's going to be this slow or he's just building this and doing 200 damage that I can, I can do, th do some stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and activate this first. Um, oh, let's, let's go ahead and get the field spell. I don't think you'll have any negations, but it's good to have, it's going to do more than just having that, that high level monster in our hand. We'll get this. We'll banish Metaphys Ascension. Metaphys Ascension will let us search. We're going to search the trap. The trap will be good. Um, normal summon Lone Wolf. Oh! Banish that, which will banish this. And we'll set one of these. And we'll not set this because I need to discard a Metaphys card and I don't have one. And it might be better to just discard it with Ace of Metaphys instead. Um, and then we pass. And then, like, as soon as the turn starts, just right in that draw phase. Metaphys Dimension. And then this thing will activate. Banish that guy. Could banish the Moon Mirror Shield. It's probably better to just get rid of everything. We put it on the top or the bottom of his deck. That's the main question. Oh, he probably uses this for his old. That that explains it. Um, attack mode. I'm feeling reckless. Wait, I, there's no reason to put that in attack mode. I was like, I'll try to bait him into attacking this, and then I'm like, wait, it doesn't matter what he attacks. His effect just activates if you attack a monster. It could be him or the wolf. Wolf is really great. It wouldn't be worth playing this deck with, uh, with, uh, Gold Sark to one if not for the fact that Lone Wolf was in this deck, just allowing you to, like, unbrick your hand and banish any Metaphys from the deck at the same time. So we got this, and then Decoy Dragon can get from the grave, so I can either get Ragnarok or Armed Dragon. Probably go for Ragnarok, unless he's got something that, like, negates effects in the battle phase. Which it's Goki, they might, they have a lot of stuff. I don't know what all their, their uh, links do. I haven't really seen one other than, like, all the Goki decks I saw just made, like, Boral Sword stuff. So we'll see, he seems to be taking a while to think and try to contemplate everything. It is a lot of effects to take in. There's like this, 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 and this all have continuous effects. This has an effect in the graveyard. So we'll let him do his things. And we'll be back when he's done doing things. <laughs> Cannot be destroyed by battle and is unaffected by the activated effects of your opponent's monsters with attack less than or equal to this card. Alright, that might be a problem. So I've got to get more attack than it. Or I've just got to make him still take the damage enough. Which I might be able to do, actually.
depending on how this plays out. When your opponent activates a card or effect that targets this card or monsters this card points to, you can make this card lose 500 and negate it. Okay, but I have to target in, and I'm not, not going to target him or anything. He, well, no. I could, actually. Um... Oh, but it can make this card gain a thousand. Okay. Until the end of this turn. Doing a rematch. What's it gonna make? Two of them? We're gonna get two giant ogres? I am regretting a lot putting this into attack mode. We'll see. He still I thought he was just gonna end on this, but it looks like he's still doing a whole bunch of stuff. So we'll see. We'll be back. We'll be back in action. House of Mouse. 2019. Turned down for what? <laughs> and he just surrendered. He he just surrendered. Uh, disappointing. I was really interested to see how this would turn out, because he had all these things. I assume he could have made more links. But he could have attacked, like he'd be unaffected, but I could have summoned uh, Ragnarok, I would have got a mill, I could Honest, so that would do like the 20, like at least 1500 to him. Then I could use Lupine and Ragnarok to make Utopia the Lightning, assuming, assuming he didn't get some sort of negation, then attack into this. So, I don't know how it would have turned out. It would have been interesting. It would have been very interesting. But unfortunately, he just surrendered. A sad and anticlimactic state of affairs. But that's fine. Let's go ahead into that tenth and final duel. <laughs> Okie dokie, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are, the tenth duel versus Gundam 00. Zero. Going second once again. And this duel is brought to you by Patreon sponsor Livebait, who's actually a, a new name. Good luck to you. Oh, thank you. Hopefully he's serious and not he's like playing Exodia or something. But yeah, thanks to Livebait, he's a new name that you're seeing up here. He's not a new patron, he's been on the Patreon for a while, but he upped his pledge to the $25 level so he could get that shout out. So give a thanks to him, a sincere thanks down in the comments. He upped his pledge, he didn't seem to want anything specific for the shout out, so I don't think he did it for the reward. I think he did it just to help me get towards my goal. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, I'm still trying to move out of my parents' basement. I mean, I moved out when I was 18, but I moved back. And I'm trying to get my own house where I can actually, like, you know, have a really cool recording setup, do neat stream stuff. Maybe, like, not a face cam, but like a hand cam. Maybe a face cam with, like, a green screen mask. I have a whole bunch of ideas, but a lot of it is, is, uh, is, is, uh, requires me to move out, get to a much bigger space, because right now I'm kind of cramped. This place is, is, uh, it's not terrible, but it's, I can't really, like, set up a desk or any sort of equipment down here. So, just another reason to join the Patreon, and he's helping out with that. And we're playing another guy who's doing Orcris stuff. Which kind of makes me sad. I really like the, the... I played Orchrist before they got their second wave of support. And I really liked them before, when they were a deck that was all about, like, the zones, where, like, they pointed to your opponent's zones, and they could do stuff to your monsters. And it was, like, non-targeting, but that was because it just affected all the zones. I thought that was a really cool, unique mechanic. And then they gave them another Infernity Barrier. Just basically a, a, a trap that says... If you control an Orcrist, negate all the things. And that's searchable. And it's like, well, now you've taken all their unique m game mechanics, thrown them out the window, all anyone uses them for now is to search the counter trap. Boo. Boring. Not interesting. I don't know why they, like, take these interesting things and then give them the same generic negation. It would be cool if the counter trap, like, worked with it. Like, if it was, like, if your opponent activates a monster that, like, any Link monster points to. That would be, that, I think that would work really well. Especially if you gave it some, like, just, like, if you control an Orcist card, maybe it would have to be a monster. But it's, like, and your opponent activates a monster effect that a Link monster points to. If a Linked monster activates its effect... 
You can, like, negate it, banish it, and, I don't know, destroy one card on the field. Like, I feel like that would be a little bit more balanced. Like, it would be a more powerful card, but at least it would fit in with what the deck was trying to do. But I guess I'm not in charge of R&D. Maybe they just wanted to sell the set, I don't know. Either way, we're up against another deck that's going to do a lot of stuff for a lot of minutes. So I'll be back when, whenever he's done doing his things, and we'll see what kind of board we have to try to... Ooh, see what kind of board we have to try to break. Not the greatest hand. Not the brickiest hand, though. I'm, I'm very happy we've gone this entire, entire episode without bricking. Oh, and he's got, he's got Phantom Knights, too. Yeah, and then you just get to the point where people are just combining. It's the same thing. Phantom Knights had this cool Rank 3 Ixy using the graveyard, and now all they are is an engine to make Rusty Bardis, where they just make two Fog Blades. Or a Fog Blade and, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, interesting. He's not, he's at least, he's only got it getting one Fog Blade tops. Interesting that he would go for that one, but maybe it'll do more plays. I don't know. It's either Fog Blade or they get the rank up magic and then they make uh, the Outer God as a thought. Oh, there it is. That is getfogblade.card. But yeah, it, it just, it, it feels kind of antithetical to the game. Like, I like when they're, when, when people make hodgepodge decks. I don't like when the hodgepodge is just like, let's take every negation that other decks can make and try to cram them all into one deck so that you end on, like, four negates. Mostly because the, like, four negate pass kind of play style. Really, really not that interactive, not that interesting. I have no problem with build-a-board decks. If they feel kind of fair, if it's like two negates or like a negate and a floodgate or like a negate. Like I really like Salamangrates because they're going to have like a negate and then they're going to have something that stops them from being destroyed. And that feels like, hey, I can play around that. I can bait out something. Now he's got a monster negate and an anything negate and a pretty high attack. He didn't get the, he didn't get the counter trap though. So at least there's that. Um... Still not sure if I can do anything. Let's see. Depends if he negates this. If he negates this, I might be in trouble. But a lot of people don't because they don't really know what it can do. Um, or maybe he's waiting for the activation. Can this negate cards and activation? Card or effect. Okay. Okay. So he can even negate this when it does stuff. Everyone loses 500. Uh, you know what I'm going to get? Um, yeah, because I could get the trap, but then he could just negate that in his standby phase. So I'm actually going to get another Ace of Metaphys <laughs> and just try to lower everything's attack by a lot. And just keep drawing into my deck and see what I can draw into. Hopefully this will limit his ability to be able to destroy me. Um, we'll banish this. I mean, if we can get our trap too, that would be nice. Go down even more. Lower attack. Lower, I say. Down below 2400. So yeah, this not too bad, but I don't think this is what he was trying to go for. Okay, well he did that. Um, now I can Lone Wolf. And this is a cost, so I get it either way. Yep, and then he got the Fog Blade. The question becomes, can he destroy that Fog Blade and then attack for more damage? Um, because that's pretty much the end of my turn, and unfortunately because I got two of these, well, it doesn't matter anyway, because it's, I'm pretty sure he still gets a manual change. Yeah, he's probably, it, it just it's just a matter of can he destroy that fog blade, 
or destroy this. He probably can, but if he can't, I might still have a chance. Interesting. Gonna negate that. I have another one. Um. Yep, and then it's, everything is gonna do the sh chain shuffle. <laughs> Defense mode and then attack mode again. Hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you. My name's Harley. So we'll see if he can make if he can make a Phantom Knight Fog Blade. I think I'm just dead. But if not, I might have a chance. So we'll once again be back. I said that last time, and then I ended up ranting through the entire thing. But we'll see. We'll be back. Maybe make Tornado Dragon. Yep, he's playing a Assault Core too. He's got he's got everything in here. <laughs> What? He had so many things! And then he just went into Decode Talker. I guess, oh, getting another Fog Blade? Alright. Yep, he could not pop his own thing! A sad state of affairs for him. Especially since I'm going for the Field Spell. It's Field Spell time! Yeah, he did a whole, he made Saryuya, he got his thing, he did a whole bunch of stuff. He didn't search the counter trap again, he just got another fog blade and a deco talker. And he doesn't seem to realize I'm not going to target his stuff. Another ace of metaphys, everything goes down. Hey, I got this. Although that doesn't do anything when it's banished. And he can't activate stuff in response to my effect activations. So I get to banish stuff regardless. I still didn't banish anything that was good. But maybe he'll let this go through. He's letting it go through. Okay. That was a poor choice, my friend. I'm actually going to get rid of all his spell traps, because those are what scares me. Goodbye. A sad state of affairs, my good friend. Um. What did I hit? Oh. <laughs> called by the grave. Okay, it makes sense now. Um. Let's see. What do I have in my graveyard? That Anything? No, not really. But he's only got two cards, so that might actually help. Or I could just make this and try to keep him from getting more stuff. Yeah, I think we're going to try Tornado Dragon. That'll be fun. That'll be a fun and dandy time. Because he seems to be all about them spell traps, and I'm going to want to stop him from getting those. Maybe I should have put it in attack mode. Possibly, but if he's all about disrupting and setting traps and doing stuff. I can also get rid of this in the end phase, or whenever he needs it, and then he has to discard a card to get it back. I'm not going to destroy it now, though, because I don't want to waste the material. Because he can discard to get it back, and he might have something that he just wants to get into the graveyard. I've been in that situation before, where it's like you have that Orcus that you need to banish. And then your opponent destroys Babel, and you're like, hey, now I can get that into the graveyard and expand my plays, just like I always wanted to. Oh, also, I'm just realizing that this was actually really good that I banished this. All right. Metaphys Dimension. He tried so hard. <laughs> so then he specials, when he special summons monster, I can special summon a banished Metaphys. Toon Gear. Alright. 
I'm going to choose Ragnarok. Uh, in defense mode. He'll banish three. Is one of them a Metaphys? Oh, you better believe it. Um, let's get rid of Torque Tune to gear. Oh, wait, he could probably Link Karibo that. I probably should just banish that. Then he couldn't get it back. Yep, so that was kind of a waste. <laughs> Hello, goodbye. Yeah, I couldn't affect the timing on that, though. It had to be... I didn't consider that that's what he would use that for. I thought he was going to use it for something else. But that's fine. He's got Link Karibo, one card in hand. His time's almost up. I banished another Searcher. Plus that, I banished, like, pretty much the best three cards in the deck. So unless he can, like, completely decimate me now, I think I'm going to be able to pull this out. But we'll see. We'll give him another moment. <laughs> and he just surrendered. Well, that, that went unexpectedly. I thought from that start, I was complaining about him having all these negates. And he still had a couple, but we still managed to pull it out, somehow. Um, I guess because he didn't activate the things when he should have. People don't understand how this deck works. They don't understand that they're not going to be able to negate when they think they can negate. Well, also he had stuff to banish from my graveyard, which I pretty much don't use the graveyard. So, everything turned out well. Let's go ahead into the final... Not the final duel. This was the final duel. Let's go ahead into the end screen. <laughs> so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Pure Metaphys 2019 edition. We went 7-3. and three, Much better than I was expecting. This is really kind of a 5-5 five and five deck. Like, half the time it works really well. Half the time, not so much. So I'm glad that we got really lucky this episode. We got to show off pretty much all the neat plays that this deck can do. And hopefully you saw why I like it so much. Just sort of the planning ahead, all of the doing everything during your opponent's turn, during the standby phase. And it's got just enough luck with how you mill with Ragnarok and such that, that can really make for those comeback plays where you're not expecting to do anything. Not sure if I'll have a replay video this week. We'll see. I think I have some pretty cool blowout replays, but I don't remember. Either way, I hope you enjoyed. Comment in the comments, like, subscribe, join the Patreon, all that stuff. Next episode, I'll be looking at a Patreon request for Luna Lights, which is a deck kind of skirted the meta. It, it won a YCS a little while ago. I think they're still doing pretty decently. So hopefully should do much better than this, assuming I don't completely mess it up. I have a history of messing up OTK fusion decks for some reason. But anyway, until then... Good luck, and have fun. <laughs>